Best of all, I ain't get done. Pop a nigga, so I like Chris. Alright, what is up YouTube? Back with yet again another video. This video is going to contain my purchases from week 2 and week 3, although I didn't purchase anything week 3. As you saw in the live cop, I did trade the week 2 thing for those, plus cash and all that. But let's, let's not do this explaining right now, it's too much for my brain at this late hour. So let's just get right into it. And I did pick up these band-aids week 2, it was just a little 4 pack supreme band-aids. Got these like with the Hanes stuff that I didn't grab week 1. So these are pretty cool. Um, I got another one just like a I got another one just like a solo one right here so you can see both sides don't really want to open them up though It's like any other themed band-aid box It just has this little like thing right here and then the image is just the box logo So you know your minion ones you got the minion or the bob or maybe the supreme So you have a wide variety of band-aids you can choose from pretty much just like your standard spider-man band-aids Maybe the spider-man maybe the Olaf maybe the supreme It's the same little quality as all of those just has a box logo on it You know kids used to be in the superheroes, the princesses, the minion or the bob, but apparently now that they're into the supreme, probably gonna keep this little single one here and then just sell this little sealed pack. 20 band-aids in each. You know, I tried taking these to CVS, see if they would scan, you know, I brought it up to the checkout counter with my drink and this poor girl, she's fumbling around with it trying to scan his barcode. She tried scanning it like 10 times, nothing was showing up. After like the 10th time, I was like, oh wait, no, those are mine, forgot about that. Try to say it as quiet as possible so that these poor elderlies behind me wouldn't look at me like an ass. Honestly, it was very pointless. I didn't have a camera or anything. If you liked that story, leave a like, leave a subscribe. So pretty much I traded this four pack though in the end, plus like $280 or something for this Supreme Snow Island hoodie in red, size medium. Pretty nice. I mean, I didn't go for it online just because it was too expensive. Honestly, for how limited Supreme and Stone Island's collabs are, I mean, I don't know how limited this one was, but I know most of them are very limited. So honestly, I really I really do think this beautifully crafted garment should be going for more maybe like five or something but I mean enough about stock X enough about the resale let's just get into this amazing hoodie right here it comes with this blue stone island bag right here I wish it was a zip bag that's what I thought it was until I got it in hand but you just like unseal it here all right yeah so here it is right here I don't know it feels honestly like kind of old I don't know it feels like an older wash piece it feels like the, the colors going to like come off as I touch it I have a few pieces of stone island they're cotton they go through many wash they go through lots of hand treatment to get it to the highest quality and honestly I, I think this is no different It's an olive hoodie, but then it does have like it looks like someone took an airbrush and just airbrushed red all over It has the red stitching very beautiful hoodie with this minimal branding on the front super clean Tonal branding with the Terry material inside that is a big plus for me I love Terry hoodies. It's like that short rag material for this is a size medium So definitely not a super heavy hoodie like Supremes, but more of like a lighter hoodie for the summer these buttons on the uh, pockets here that say Stone Island and that's a nice little feature to keep your stuff secure and then the patch is just a regular Stone Island patch buttoned on there it just says Stone Island I wish they did like the Supreme logo that's on the front on the patch but I, I've they've never done a patch with Supreme on it so as you can see it's definitely a nice tonal embroidery not too not too loud or anything but you can see it and then on the hood um, right there there is some embroidery I saw someone else's unboxing and they said they couldn't read it to me it's quite quite legible and they must be riding the short bus or something for you it's upside down but for me it says stone island slash supreme slash 2019 as i said before the main color of the hoodie like the base color is all over as you can see with the inside and then they just have red all over it so this is a size medium it's a bit smaller than i like my hoodies to fit um but definitely very clean and uh still probably fits true to size patch right there and you know just overall a very clean hoodie if you wanted to know how the hood fit that's i mean that's how it looks on me i have a sort of big head so i I don't know. So that's it for this unboxing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Just little bits right here. Uh, hopefully I can get more out soon. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But uh, yeah, that's it. Hope to catch you next time. You know, subscribe, like, comment, do all that. Let's get this quick thumbnail here. Uh, I'm out.